Hello, for this week's application presentation, I decided to focus on quizzes.com. So with this, students can play um, game quizzes that they can then um, try to get first place or get high place. So basically, the teacher will create a series of questions and the students have to answer them. Um, so basically, the teacher can do it as a live assignment or she can do it as uh, where they set a future date so they have until, say, the end of the week to get it done or whatever. Or with the students can do it as many times as they want. Just each time that they enter, they would have to put a new name. Um, so they can use this to study for an upcoming quiz or test by playing multiple times. Or the teacher can use this for after an assignment where she assigns it and students have to complete it. And that way the teacher then can look and see what questions the student got wrong to see what they need to work on and improve on. You could also even use it as a quiz. Um, students basically could complete it. They have their name as a username, and then you can see what the student got wrong and give them a grade or score from there. So now I'm going to show you how to create a quizzes. So basically you go to uh, quizzes.com, and then you would basically would create an account or log in if you have one. Then it would show a screen something like this. You would then basically click create. And then it would show this if you want to create a quiz or a lesson. For this sake, um, we'll do a quiz. And you can either upload a document or a URL, or you can donate from text, or you can create from scratch. So we'll do create from scratch. And then it'll pop up something like this. So you have a couple different options. Uh, you can either do a multiple choice, you can do a reorder. A drag and drop, math response, hotspot, categorize, fill in the blank, match, drop down, labeling, graphing, or comprehension. You can also do where they have to draw something, a video response, open ended, audio response, a poll, a slide, or a word cloud. Most cases, teachers do typically tend to use multiple choice, so I'm going to click on this one. With this, you can type a question. Um, so, let's see what, what is 5 plus 5, and then you can put say, 3, 5, 10, and four. With this, you can then select the correct answer and then click save question. So that way that question is then saved. So I'm going to go to one that I already started. Okay. So I have all these questions up here so far. I have five questions. I'm going to create another question now. And I'm going to do multiple choice. And then I'm going to create a problem. So Subtract nine and three put three let's just do nine six and hmm let's see and we can put let's see five for this one okay and then we got to mark our correct answer so in this case it will be six and then we can click save question and now we have um six questions so for now we'll just keep it at six for the purpose of this video then we can um change the title of our quiz so you can see if we do basic adding Subtracting the subject, we click mathematics and then you select a grade. Let's just say first grade and then um, language, which would be English. Then you can make it um, publicly visible to everyone in the public, or you can make it restricted to people who you share it with, or everyone in your organization. Um, restricted and everyone in your organization that you do have to pay for, but publicly visible is 
the free option. You will click save. And then you can click publish. And then it'll say great work, your quiz is saved and ready to play with students. And then basically you can assign it as practice. So that's where they do it um, on their own time. So you can, with that, you can set like a due date. So I could set it for next Friday and then basically have a week to do it. Or I can do start a live quiz. So if I click, um, let's do assign practice first. If I click on this, you would set a start time for the activity. And then you could put, say, today at 9 o'clock. And then you could do unlimited. Uh, basically, this is how many times you want them to be able to do the, complete the quiz. So if you want it to be a one time, and just a grade, they can only do it one time, then you can put one. Um, if you want them to be able to do it unlimited, then you can um, select unlimited, so that way they can do it multiple times. This is great if they're trying to study for a quiz or something. Um, and then you can put a deadline too, so if you want to change the deadline, you can do that. So, okay, say do Saturday, so they have a day to work on it. If you wanted to do it that way. Let's see, scroll down, and then you can assign it. And it'll give students like a link or a code that they can use then to um, complete the assignment. Let's go back, or we can do start a live quiz. You can do a structure page so everyone advances through the questions together, or you can do classic. The most popular is classic. Um, that's where students can answer at their own pace, and you'll see the result or the results of the quiz on the live dashboard. So if you were to click um, the live dashboard and have students do it live where they do it at their own pace, this would then pop up and they can click joinmyquiz.com and enter the code. And then you can actually click start. That'll start it, um, but you have to obviously click that once participants have entered the quiz. And so, yeah. So with this being said, quizzes is very helpful because teachers can use it to assess their students on current knowledge that they are teaching them to see if students are actually understanding the knowledge. Teachers can more so use this as practice. They could use it as an actual quiz or use it to allow students to study for an upcoming quiz or test. Um, thank you so much for watching.